Hey, it's Brittany, and I'm going to show you guys how to install a Verizon 5G internet gateway. All right, so here it is. This is what it looks like. Here's the reset button right here if you ever need to restart it. Here's where all the outlets are. You have two ethernet ports and one power outlet. This is an ethernet cable. It kind of looks like a big phone cord. It's the same on both ends. One end goes into the port and the other end goes into a device that you would want to use a hardwired connection for. We're not going to use that for this video because we want everything to be wireless, but I wanted to show you what it is and where it goes. Here's your power cable, and this is what you plug in right here to power on the box. Now we're plugging our power cable into our power strip or power outlet to power on the box. Now, after we plug it in, you're gonna see this white light on the corner. It's gonna flash between white and red, and that just means that it's powering on and trying to gain a connection. This whole process takes maybe about five minutes, so we'll give it a little bit of time to boot up. A few moments later, now our light has finally stopped flashing and has turned to a solid white light. It is connected and ready to go. So now we're gonna flip the box to the bottom where all the cables were connected. And you're gonna locate your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. Now we're gonna use that information to pop it into the device that we want to connect to the internet. I'm using my Samsung Galaxy Note 20. So from here, we're gonna long press the Wi-Fi button so that we can go to our available Wi-Fi networks. The network we're looking for is our newly added Verizon network. We're gonna tap this network so that we can now enter our password to connect to it. Now here is where we type in our password. It's dotted out for your security, but if you want to see the letters that you're typing in, you just wanna tap that eyeball with the slash through it and that'll uncover the letters as you type. So now, under current network, you should be able to see your network and beneath that, you should see where it shows you that it is actually connected. You'll also see on the upper right hand corner of your screen that you are in fact connected to your Wi-Fi. Now give yourself a pat on the back because you have successfully installed your internet. Yay!